So sad news came out today. Penel Whitaker died at the age of 55 in a car accident. And obviously, we don't wish that on nobody. And especially Penel Whitaker, he was such a legend in the sport of boxing. He was a gold medalist. He won multiple titles in four different divisions. He was the first fighter to take Chavez. Oh, even though I felt like Tarver deserved to win when he fought Chavez the first time. But, you know, that's a different video for a different conversation. But Penel Whitaker was definitely a talent that was once in a generation. You know, he was the Floyd Mayweather of his time, the Roy Jones of his time, and he was just so talented that he only really started losing when he started doing drugs and stuff, and he was messing up outside of the ring. You know, if he stayed focused, he probably will be undefeated just like Floyd Mayweather. But like I said, he couldn't stay focused inside the ring, and that's the hardest thing is hard work and dedication. Uh, really, the fight outside of the ring. You know, for Panette Whitaker was harder than inside of the ring. And I believe his first loss was to Trinidad. And then, you know, when he fought Oscar, I mean, that fight was a close fight. I, I thought he beat Oscar. You know, just go back and watch that fight. Obviously, Panette Whitaker was fighting before my time. I wasn't even born then. You know, obviously, I had to study him. And he just was such a talent. But when he was fighting Oscar De La Hoya, I remember Jim Lampley talking about what a flurry by Oscar De La Hoya. He won the round. And that flurry in particular, he missed every single punch. So I understand if you like the guy that throws punches and lands with, you know, a volume puncher in particular. But if a fighter throws punches and he's just hitting air all night, like how how you consider that winning? You know, I remember how they praise and they still praise Willie Pat to this day and how he won a round without throwing a single punch. But when it's Pennell Whitaker that's doing it and he actually uh, throwing static in return, he still can't win the round versus an Oscar De La Hoya. Obviously, Oscar De La Hoya was the money man or I don't think he um, turned to... The money man at the time but uh he was definitely a huge name from the jump oscar de la hoya as soon as he came uh from the olympics he was already a star so you know they obviously he had a lot of gift decisions but that was just one example of plenty of examples where pinel whitaker was treated wrong you know and that was kind of more toward the end of his career i remember you know him getting robbed obviously versus chavez where you know even People that like Chavez said it was a robbery. And in the second fight, same thing happened. You know, Pinel Whitaker still scored Chavez. And that was uh, a prime Chavez. But at the end of the day, like I said, Pinel Whitaker, you know, it's sad news. Uh, Pinel Whitaker was also a guy who sparred Floyd Mayweather when Floyd Mayweather was 17 years old. And he kind of gave Floyd Mayweather the first uh, top level experience versus a top level fighter in sparring and Floyd Mayweather gained a lot of confidence from sparring Pinel Whitaker obviously it was more toward the, the later part of Pinel Whitaker career when he was sparring Floyd Floyd was young but still that was great experience and Floyd was doing good so you know Pinel Whitaker opened up a lot of doors for a lot of fighters and obviously you could see Floyd Mayweather is inspired by the Pinel Whitaker and the greatest defensive fighter of all time is possibly Floyd or Pinel Whitaker. It got to be one of the two. Uh, I believe the best all-around fighter as far as defense and offense, the guy that could translate from defense and offense, is Floyd. Um, the best defensive fighter of all time could be either Floyd or Pinel Whitaker. You know, I can't choose right now, and I don't want to choose at this point. Like I said, I just want to say may he rest in peace, and inshallah he go to heaven. And if you never seen Pinel Whitaker fight, you got to go check at least his highlights, you know, because it's something to see. That's for sure. So at the end of the day, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't listen to these casual ass fans. 
Follow Long Tone Boxing on Instagram for the funniest boxing memes. Follow me on Instagram at Aki TV and subscribe to my channel below. And to be continued on the next episode of Aki TV. Peace and we out of here.